Do you know, when you say you do a sport that isn't known more by the public, you know, it's more like, oh, that's weird, you know. As I got older, it got more and more <laughs> normalized as people are like, oh yeah, he just does gymnastics. If I remember correctly, I think it was seven, seven years old. So that would be almost 11 years ago. My, my original coach, her name was Tiff, was more of the driving force than that. She kind of said, you're going to compete. And I said, all right then. It was a good experience. I met a lot of people that I still do gymnastics with and I still call very good friends today. I would say that uh, gymnastics itself does kind of put character building in you. It's an independent sport. So you have to do a lot of independence in your training, a lot of independence in your in your style of gymnastics, and it has to do a lot of uh, time management. I'm in the gym almost every day of the week. I'm managing my extracurriculars and my schooling pretty well. I've been trained since I was in third grade, really, to do so. Ever since like third grade, I've been in at least five extracurriculars every year. Some stayed consistent, like gymnastics and music-related stuff and then stuff got added on along as we went. Stuff got dropped off. I learned if I wanted to do something, I also had to you know, give and take. I was wanting to coach here forever because I have great influence from here and great mentors from here. They did a big part on making me who I, I am and if I can do that to some kid, I, I know that I did my coaching job right. What don't I like about teaching the kids? Different groups of kids, you know, bring different sets of challenges, different sets of abilities, different sets of energy. So it depends on the day, it depends on the group of kids, and it depends on what I'm coaching them in. So I really just like coming in after a hard day of, of school or, or something like that, and then they, they tend to cheer me up. Aside from gymnastics, Doug also participates and coaches Ninja Warrior at Paramount as well. I started when Paramount opened their Ninja course almost eight years ago now, and it was a basketball court, so we still had one side, we had no wall, and my coach said, hey, how about you, you know, hop over here? So the boys and girls team, competitively, uh, those teams, had the first dibs on the course. I remember some of the older girls couldn't make it up the 10-foot wall, and I said, let's give it a try. And I was like 4'8", 4'9", at the time or something like that. I was in elementary school and I ran up the wall and I made it and it was a really gratifying feeling. Anytime they needed a extra kid for a competition because they were short or some kid got sick or something like that, I would always hop in because I had the athletic and you know fast movement and hand-eye coordination that I had from gymnastics, which now led me to be one of the head coaches of the competition team. With the skills obtained from Ninja Warrior and gymnastics, Doug was better prepared to become the school mascot. Yeah! I heard an announcement about it. I said, that'd be pretty fun to try out. I really like working with kids like I, I've done here. And when I wanted to become the school mascot, I said, well, you know, that would give me another chance to, instead of, you know, correcting kids on their form or, you know, saying like, hey, don't, you know, don't mess around. I could kind of influence it. I could say, hey, yeah, how about you go over there and try uh, this or this, you know, like kind of poke fun with the kids instead of just trying to shut it down. Some, sometimes, you know, it's kind of hard, you know, you got to get in the mindset of, you know, you're the face of the school. So, you know, you got to keep everyone pumped up even if we're losing or, you know, we got to keep them pumped up even if like someone got injured or something like that. So that's the hard part. But Really after that, everything else is a lot of fun. I don't really know fully what my future plans are because I don't think anybody does. So I haven't planned more than about a year ahead. So right now I'm going to do local performances at restaurants, bars, taverns, local playhouses, etc, etc. I am getting an internship with a theater company in New York and I am going to continue coaching here because it's uh, what I like to do.